Hi, Carl here for Pro VTV, and today we are very lucky to have this stunning Cook 100mm full frame plus anamorphic lens in the showroom with us. Cook kindly lent us this for a few days so that we could show it off at our stand at the media production show. And we just could not let it pass through the office without pairing it with the Kinefinity Mavo LF and taking it out to film with. So. This is a 100mm anamorphic eye full frame plus lens, which has a 1.8 times squeeze and a maximum aperture of T2.3. Now this is about as high end as it gets in the world of cinema lenses, and there are very few cameras which you can pair it with to get the most out of the lens. And luckily for us, one of those cameras is the Mavo LF from Kinefinity, which we have right here with us in the showroom. What is really remarkable about this whole setup though, is the cost. Because the Mavo LF is so aggressively priced for a large format cinema camera, you can pretty much buy this entire setup, the camera, the monitors, the batteries, and the Cook lens for about the same price as the competing large format cinema cameras, which is remarkable. So, after the media production show was over, we took it all out for a quick shoot to see what this combination is capable of. So let's go over the setup in a bit more detail. The camera is of course Kinefinity's flagship, the full frame 6K Mavo LF, fully rigged up with the Movcam cage and shoulder rig, side grip and the Kineback W, with a large SWIT PBS220S V-Lock battery for long run times and to counterbalance that heavy lens on the front. For monitoring, we had both a Zakuto graphical EVF and an Atomos Ninja 5. And to go with the lens, we had a fantastic Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom matte box and a Revolver follow focus, all being supported by a Miller CX-8 tripod. This is a truly beautiful combination, and the anamorphic eye full frame plus lens really does show off what the Mavo LF can do. Most of these shots were shot using available light with this one SWIT S2610 flexible LED panel as a fill light. We were working very quickly and so didn't have the luxury of setting up multiple lights for complex lighting setups. But because the Mavo LF is so clean at those high ISOs, we were able to get a lot from just the available light. The SWIT light was mainly used to get the light coming from the right direction for each shot rather than because we needed more light for it. I really enjoyed shooting with this combination and we are definitely going to miss this lens being in the showroom. But what do you all think? Are you as keen on this setup as I am? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you want to buy any of this kit for your own work, then just head over to prov.co.uk with the link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.